All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and Shashir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Um, I want to go in on this topic uh, about how um, America and, well, America in general, you know, which is modern day Rome, um, has this woman worship uh, spirit. Um, on it, you know, mainly among our people, Israel, you know, but, um, uh, for the most part, you know, like, like romance, you know, Roman, you know, romance, um, you have, uh, the R and B music, which is all catered towards, um, worshiping the woman, you know, uh, the men doing all type of wickedness, like Joe, uh, all the things your man won't do, you know, and like this is basically the, the 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 spirit that America has, you know, and it's destroying our people, you know, because nobody else, like you look at the so-called white man and their woman, you know, they don't have the problems that uh, the so-called uh, Negro woman has, you know, no other nation has that problem except for our nation. You know, but, um, cause, cause they don't go by the Bible, you know, um, this is Isaiah three and 12. It says, as for my people, which is Israel, it says children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Right. Like, like, as I said earlier, you got R and B music, right. With, uh, like Beyonce. You know, she, she brought that, uh, uh, all the single ladies and independent woman movement, you know, and with that day, even the woman rights movement, you know, that was them giving women a so-called equal rights, but they gave, they gave them more rights, you know, and they, that actually put the woman over the so-called Negro men, not only them, but every other, body, every other person that, that's a, uh, that's and and among Israel, you know. So with that, you know, that basically took the and then at the same time, they was taking the fathers out of the families, you know, forcing it on our people. Hey, if you want these benefits, you know, you gotta be a single woman. So that's one of the ways that they uh destroyed our people. And there was many other ways, you know. I'm going to show this picture. It's just one picture. Uh, I got a couple other pictures. Once you get focused. You know, like, as you can see, it says cause and effect, right? On the cause side, you got uh, experiments, media exploitation. Um, one, of the, one of the examples of media exploitation is like the reality shows, you know? Like loving hip hop, you know, the women, uh, the men on there, you know, like Stevie J and all that, you know, doing all type of stuff that that's women worship, you know, uh, slavery. It all started from slavery, um, public school system, uh, poverty, uh, our people being poor, you know, uh, and the effect is the, 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 the men, you know, as you can see. Calling her, uh, it said, he said, yo, bitch. And the woman saying, who you calling the bitch, nigga? You know, you see the nigga with the, 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 um, sagging pants, you know? This is, this is all a, a ways of how they destroyed our people, you know? And the cause is all these other ways down here, you know? So, America then destroyed our people. And you don't have these problems among anybody other than our people. These are the curses, you know, pursuant to Deuteronomy 28 chapter, you know, going into slavery, the high inca incarceration uh, rate, you know, high unemployment, the Lynch syndrome, poor public schooling, Jim Crow, you know. So it's like they put the woman over us. Now, in order to, 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 what they try to say, find a decent woman, you got to court them. You got to 
do all type of stuff with these women that really aren't worthy of being um, a mate, you know? These women don't know how to cook, you know, wear all type of weave, you know, doing all type of unnatural stuff, you know? And then you got the R&B music that's pushing it out there, you know? Even what, because art imitates life, you know? They got a song out called um, From Omarion. And the line on there is, uh, got to eat the booty like groceries, you know? So now these guys out here are thinking that that's the thing to do. I got to get this woman. Hey, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try to say I'm going to eat her booty like groceries, you know? And the women are looking for those guys that's going to do that, you know? And, and, and all of this is is just ways, different ways of how they're destroying our people, you know? Our, our women don't realize how they're going off. So now when you got brothers in GMS who are calling these women out, you know, for the shit that they're doing wrong, all of a sudden y'all camps and all y'all other people want to try to get on us, you know, whereas though they, they don't know that they're going off. And a lot of y'all camps, y'all got women in y'all congregation, you know, bringing all type of confusion. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if y'all had y'all women had ranks in y'all in y'all congregation, in y'all camps like IUIC, you know. But at the same time, our women are destroyed. You know, Isaiah three and twelve it says, "As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err." You know, the so-called white man. You know. Uh, which they, they they go back to the serpent, you know, the snake from Adam and Eve, you know, and and the snake, I'm gonna get that. Um, this is First uh, Timothy two and thirteen. It says, "For for Adam was first formed, then Eve." First Timothy two and fourteen, and Adam was not deceived, but the woman being deceived was in the transgression. I'm going to continue. It says, Notwithstanding, she shall be saved in childbearing if they continue in faith and charity and holiness with sobriety. You know? Now, this is this clearly shows you how the women are going to be saved. You know? The women are saved through the men. The men aren't going to be saved through the, through the women. You know? It says, Holiness with sobriety of mind. These women out here, they're not being holy. So why the hell would we want to try to try to act like it's all cool, you know? When they're basically contradicting the scriptures, you know, they're going against what the scriptures say, you know? Why? Because it all started from the Adam and Eve days, you know? And it all just trickled down, you know? And the so-called white man is still the same serpent that he is today, you know, destroying our people, you know, messing our people up. And that's basically what happened. It's just nothing is new under the sun, you know. So our people are being are going off, you know, mainly most a lot of the men are going off. But the women, you know, more particular for, for all y'all who want to be men, I mean, woman worshiping, you know, that's not how it's supposed to be, you know. And honestly, there was no queens, you know, when we were in rulership, you know, when Israel was in rulership. You know, King Solomon had a thousand women, you know, 700 concubines, 300 Shalakia, 700 wives, 300 concubines. Right. So which one of those women was queens? You know, you can't answer that. But at the same time, right, like a lot of, oh, we had uh, Esther, you know, she was, she was, that, she was a queen under a heathen, you know. But polygamy is in the Bible, you know, and, and right now, honestly, this is not the time for any brother to be uh, trying to be laid up under these women, you know, because they come with so much confusion, you know, and in and, and, and this day and age is all messed up, you know. Um, I'm going to read the, the, the first verse again. It says Isaiah 3 and 12. It says, it's for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err and destroy the ways of thy paths. Right? You know, when when 
we're talking about our people, you know, Israel, because we're going to be in rulership again. You know, it says and, and destroy the ways of thy paths, right? Proverbs 31 and 3. Give not thy strength unto women, right? So don't be uh, in the spirit of women worshiping and, you know, um, trying to please them. You know, all this romance stuff, you know, nor thy ways that, to that which destroyeth kings, you know. So when it says and destroy the ways of thy paths, you know, if you're on this path, you know, if you got called, because first off, you got to make sure that you're calling an election is sore. If you got called, you know, you're on the path to being the king, a ruler, you know, if you are the elect, you know. So we're not supposed to be in that 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 um, spirit of trying to please these women, you know, we trying to not chase these chase these women we're trying to find the lord while we still can find them you know that's what the scriptures say seek ye the lord while he still may be found you know and and for all these because i did a um i did a couple of uh researching on the the like women uh worshiping and stuff like that um this is uh the, from the Urban Dictionary, uh, it says simp, right? It says a man that puts himself in a subservient, submissive position under woman in hopes of winning them over without the female bringing anything to the table. You know, and that's what a lot of y'all guys are. Y'all in that spirit, you know, of a simp, you know, trying to trying to please these women who really don't bring anything to the table. All they get is things from Esau. You know, and and anybody who who's in the know, you know, they know that once this system goes down, a lot of these women going to be coming to you. They're going to flock to you. You know, that's the way it's going to go back to how it normally was, you know, or how it's supposed to be. You know, the women are supposed to be under the man, not the other way around. It says a man that puts too much value on a female for no reason. Like I said, that's what a lot of y'all y'all niggas do. It says a man that prides himself with silvery in hopes of getting satis sexual gratification from women. Hey man, if you if you uh, having problem with getting women, you know, or or you just want a want a woman so bad, hey, just go on back page, man. You know, that's all you got to do. It says, a square with no game other than rolling out the red carpet for every female. You know, the women, the nigga woman, and, and, and this goes out to polite, you know, who, who want to try to uh, say the black woman is God, you know. He's a simp. He got a simp spirit on him, you know. <laughs> so so at the same time, this is not the, the, the spirit that we need to be in, you know. These women ain't right in, in this society, America. It puts out, it puts it out there, you know. That's one of the, the agendas that they push out there, you know. Um, and, and it's a lot of it is, is in school, you know, from the, with them teaching like Roman numerals and um, basically all the romance novels, you know, like Romeo and Juliet, you know, this person who killed himself because of a woman, you know, it starts in school. And and I think the thing is like like when we were in rulership, courting and all that stuff wasn't um a part of what we what we had to do, you know. You found a woman, she was a virgin, you know you wanted to you do what you had to do to get her, you know? And that's simple as that. Yeah, you, you ain't these women don't know what it, what a real man is, you know? They don't know what a real man is. You tell a woman, hey, you know you try and get at her. You know, you're supposed to be a man of the Lord. Next thing you know, these women want to ask you when your birthday is. For what? To find out your zodiac. Why? What, what, where did the zodiac come from? The Roman. It's the Roman zodiac. They want to find out whether or not you're compatible or not. You know? These women don't know nothing about the, the, the truth, you know, in general. They just think, oh, I'm a Leo, I'm I'm uh, compatible with you, or, you know, you you mean. You know, that's the type of stuff that these women be doing. 
You know, meanwhile, they be having mad children, you know, and, and, and everything in general, you know, but, um, I wanted to, to, to show some more pictures, you know, just for edification sakes, you know, of how the women go off now, right? Now, it says eight things women just don't do anymore that they should, right? Cook, clean, dish out compliments, fix his plate, right? The woman's supposed to fix the man's plate before the children. It says, uh, watch your mouth. These women don't watch their mouth. Keep yourself up, dress, hold on, dress up for dates, right? And anticipate his needs. These women don't do that nowadays, you know? And in and, and the kingdom, you'll, you'll be able to, to, to have that, you know? All of that, you know, silent and loving women, you know? The women that won't be uh, a serpent authority over you, you know, because these women are supposed to be silent, you know, according to what the scriptures say, you know, uh, and, and, and at the same time, when you go out with these women, you know, a lot of them just want you for the, for the, for the meal, you know, you go out on a date with these women, they just want you cause, cause, cause you're giving up food, you know? But as I said, monogamy, you know, that's that's unnatural. You know? Polygamy is inside the Bible, you know, and that's just how it was, you know. But I wanted to show these uh three pictures and I'm gonna end it. You know. But here you go, here you got a picture. It says wife of yesterday, right? Here you had the man, you know. And all his women are trembling and seeking, you know. They fear that man, you know. And notice he has many different women, you know. And they all are under order, under subjection, you know. And then, here you have the wife of today, you know. The woman banging on the table, you know. This man probably done done put the food on the table, provided and everything, you know, and a woman just ain't, ain't, ain't taking that, you know, she don't care, and the, and the man, uh, bitching up, basically, and the wife of the future, you know, <laughs> this is, this is cl pretty much clear and to the point, you know, this is, this is what's, what's going on, you know, this is where it's, where, where it's going at, you know? We're not supposed to be uh, out here um, serving our women, you know? The women are supposed to be servants, you know? Because that's what basically, wife, woman, you know, that's what all that means, you know? The women are supposed to be helpmates to their men, you know? And, and we're basically destroyed. You know, as a people, and 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 they start from the so-called white man. So once this so-called white man system start losing its power, and and that power starts being transferred over to us, the 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 the, the men of the Lord, you know, the ones that that are going to be kings and rulers over this planet, the women are going to be in their right mind, you know. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Sim Yahweh Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And this is his Salawam to all the Akim out here that's doing and pushing the work in tr truth and in sincerity. Salawam.